everybody, and welcome to another song with Mrs. Agati. Except today's song is not one that we sing, today is one that we dance to. It is the 5th of May, Cinco de Mayo, which is a holiday celebrated in some parts of Mexico. And I say some parts because it is not a national holiday and it's become more of a big holiday here in the United States. Some people think that Cinco de Mayo is a celebration of Mexican Independence Day, but it is not. Um, Cinco de Mayo is a celebration of a battle that was fought in one region of Mexico where the Mexican forces um, defeated uh, the French army that was attacking them at the time. And it, it was a very unlikely victory for the Mexican forces. It's kind of like when you're living here in Massachusetts, we celebrate Patriots Day, which is the anniversary of the first battle of the Revolutionary War that was fought in Lexington and Concord. Again, a day that started out very badly for the Americans and ended up uh, driving the British forces back to Boston, which was in itself a victory. So it's that kind of a holiday. It's that kind of a holiday. But I thought this would be a good opportunity to do something from the country of Mexico. So the dance that we are going to do today is called Los Machetes. And Los Machetes, kind of, if you know what the English version of that word is, it sounds like that. Los Machetes is the machetes. Now a machete is a really long sword-like tool that Mexican farmers would use out in the fields or going through jungle areas of Mexico to cut down shrubbery and other plants that are growing in their way. Obviously, this dance is done with machetes in Mexico by some dancers. Professional people who spend thousands of hours practicing it. We are going to use, because we are at home, wooden spoons. So, I have my two wooden spoons. Normally, if we were in my classroom, we would be using rhythm sticks, but we're not there, so wooden spoons it is. Now, there are three parts to this dance. The Usually this dance is done in a circle and we move around, but because we're all at home and we're, all, we're going to do this pretty much just staying in place for this particular time. So we start off part one, part A, if you want to think of it, the A section is just clicking our machetes together. So we are going to click in different areas, like in the four corners. If there was a box right in front of us, we're going to click in each of those four corners, two times in each corner. So we're going to one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Two, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Three, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Four, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And you do it that many times. And then we get into the B section. And the B section is the most challenging. It involves lifting a leg and clicking your machetes underneath your leg. Then above it, behind your back, then in front of you again, and then three clicks up top that go right with the music. So let me show that again. Under, over, back, front, click, click, click. Then you do the other leg. Under, over, back, front, click, click, click. Under, over, back, front, click, click, click. Under, over, back, front, click, click, click. That is the most challenging part, so you might want to rewind that and try that again a couple of times. When you're ready to move on, there is part C, and part C is not as, not as difficult. Part C, you put one hand on your hip, other in the air, and you're gonna do like a lasso motion. Now, this is a modified version of the original Mexican dance. And if you look it up on YouTube, where the guys are really using the machetes doing this dance, you see a lot more complicated movements that they do. But this is like a lasso movement. And we're gonna move to, well, this is my right, your left probably. And we're gonna go one, two, three, four, five, six, click, 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 and back. Two, three, four, five, six, click, click, click. One, two, three, five, six, click, click, click. Two, three, four, five, six, click, click, click. And then you go back to the A section, clicking in the box again. Rewind and go back to any section that you might need to. And once you're ready, you think you've got all the sections ready to go, 
You can move on and do the whole thing with the music. Here we go. I hope you had fun dancing Los Machetes today at home on Cinco de Mayo. And now, Miss Small sings the Pine Glen School song. Hi, Pine Glen students. It's Miss Small. I miss you. I hope you're doing well. And I hope to see you soon. Pine Glen School, Pine Glen School. Pine Glen is the school that's cool. When I learn a lot, I also have some fun. That makes Pine Glen number one. Pine Glen School, Pine Glen School. Pine Glen is the school that's true. When I walk through the halls, I feel so great. I make sure I'm never late. Pine Glen School, Pine Glen School, Pine Glen is the school that's cool. When I learn a lot, I also have some fun. That makes Pine Glen number one. I nominate Mr. Donoff to sing the Pine Glen song next. Bye. Well done, Miss Small. Nice job. Mr. Donoff is off next. I can't wait to see his version of the Pine Glen School song. Stay home, stay safe, stay healthy, and I'll see you tomorrow. Bye.